Okay, good morning everybody. We're here to talk about the house we dream of. Now, we never know exactly what is that house. If it's a concept, if it's something about symbolism, no? A metaphysical thing, is an idea, is something that you dream, uh, or is something real. Uh, what do you think? For me, um, the word that describes my, the house of my dreams would be sensations, like strong sensations. Um, I always imagine like the bathroom with a bath, like you are in front of a mirror looking at yourself and you are like alone. And I think that it's the biggest isolation you can have. Um, so the word would be fly, because um, the house of my dreams would be, I think, a flying house, because I have the problem that I want to live everywhere and I don't think I'll have enough time. Um, so a flying house uh, would allow me to live in New York and when I'm tired of that, then I would go to, I don't know, somewhere else lost in the middle of nowhere. I think my dream house would be a house of memory, so the keyword would be memory. Because I think it's really important to feel attached to a place and to create some sort of memory of the place. And maybe it would be, uh, it doesn't have to be always the same house, but it would be something I would bring always to the house. It could be a piece of furniture that would remind me of my grandparents or uh, something like that. Um, the kind of space I imagine for my dream house, it's maybe mixed, like having closed spaces for some things, but then, for example, I always imagine going up to a terrace and being able to see everything of the city. Well, I never thought about it, but for example, for me, I've lived in, in Shanghai and I've lived also in Switzerland. And it's so different, the two spaces. For example, yeah, obviously Shanghai is a great city, but there's pollution, too many people, it's, everything goes really fast. And Switzerland, it's, I really liked it because there's no noise, nature, like you can go skiing, you can do lots of sports. For me, my dream house would be in, in Switzerland. Talking about the house specifically, I don't think it would really matter if it would be in the countryside or in the city, because I would imagine a form which is sort of expandable, where the materials sort of flow from one to another, and the entire space can expand and contract, and sort of, it sort of moves slightly, accommodating. One space can get bigger as the other one gets smaller, and vice versa, depending on needs and sort of feelings. So you would feel that you need a bigger space, and the space would grow. You need more light, the more it would create more light. You would feel and it would sort of close and then you'd have less light. Depending on your emotion feeling, the house would sort of react towards you, let's say. I always dream of having a house in white because I think that white is a pure color that uh, gives you that sensation that everything is already did. I mean, to have everything inside, but in the same time to go outside. Uh, I think my word would be dynamism. Like, I mean, I, w I, mm, I think it would be like the water that goes throughout all the mountain and also the materials you can change or you could go inside, outside. I mean, if you want to go to the living room, you, can, you have to go to the outside and then to the inside. So it would be dynamism. So maybe my word would be collage because I want everything. You cannot, do, you cannot have that. You have to choose between one thing or another yeah. thing. But it's a dream. It's a dream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>